Greetings, sir and sorettes, and welcome back to Stellaris with me, Alathrex, and of course, welcome to the second attempt at the Impossible Challenge. Today, we are going to be trying with the Rockbot Assimilators. Now, this is likely to be a weird run, and it used to be my absolute favourite empire, before all the changes where the tile system was removed and we have the new building systems. I absolutely adored Assimilators. They were easily my favourite Empire type. Now, I haven't really played them that much, so I think it's only right we try them whilst playing in the most difficult way possible. So then, why exactly have I gone with the Assimilators rather than the choices I outlined in the previous video? Well, first of all, I think the Assimilators are one of these options which are very strong for this type of run, but aren't the absolute best choice. So they're very close to the top, but not quite there. Perhaps I'm wrong on this, I've never really tried to do a challenge like this before, but I do feel like this is a very strong choice. Although Empires are going to absolutely hate us still, and we don't have the military bonuses of, for instance, if we went down the route of the Determined, Determined exterminators, we are going to be powerful enough very quickly that we should be able to repel them. And of course, the fact we are a machine empire means we get 100% habitability on every world we find, which is really important because we have no guaranteed habitable worlds near our system. So just that alone makes us way more powerful than we were previously. Our ships just don't have any special traits to them, which is kind of horrible. Now, for the rock bots themselves, they are mass-produced and they have efficient processors, basically meaning they are jack-of-all-trades robots. They are good at pretty much everything to some degree, but nothing specifically. They are, however, high-maintenance, bulky, and have repurposed hardware, because these things are incredibly expensive. And our cyborgs... Well, they're something special. They are going to be Lithoids. The Lithoids themselves get a plus 50% habitability, and because they're cyborgs, they get an additional 20%, which means our cyborgs can follow us onto pretty much every world. They are intelligent, and they are traditional, so this is where we're going to be getting the Unity and our research from, and the robots will be covering every other job. That is the idea, at least. So with them both growing at the same time, we should have a decent population growth rate, we should be able to claim every single world we find, and as long as we're not attacked instantly, we are going to ramp up incredibly quickly. Now, sadly, with the assimilators, I believe you get one less robot-producing job to begin with, and your cyborgs have a minus 50% or something crazy like that growth rate. So it's not like we're going to have super growth, but we should be very powerful once we get some of our populations going. And I'm really hoping the Lithoids make it worth it. Eventually, we can turn them into living bastions of gas, crystals, or moats as well, which is really, really lovely. So with that, let's just get going. Probably not helping that I'm currently recording this already at 11pm and falling asleep, but I just really wanted to give this another go. So here's all of the settings. Let's go. And sadly, once again, we are not in the very edge of the galaxy. That would have been so much more useful. Okay, so more energy straight away. That would be fantastic. More unity right now, because population growth, despite being fantastic, really isn't going to be our strong suit anyway. And let's go with mining station output since I do want to spread very very quickly now this time I'm not going to scout ahead since I don't want to really find other empires until I absolutely have to I just want to expand to pretty much everything I possibly can so there we are our poor rock bots are only getting 1.12 per month in terms of their growth rate and our robots are getting 3.45 I think you get like an extra one to that if we weren't assimilators but thankfully, though, these fellows are awesome. We also have our coordinators, which are really good, since we are robots. And coordinators also mean our menial drones get more output. Once again, we will be focusing on alloys to begin with, as I think spreading as fast as possible is the key here. We are going to be playing a wide empire. Maybe that's not the right choice. Maybe a tech-rushing empire is right. But I do really want to spread very quickly to begin with, in order to get all the worlds we possibly can. Sadly, no good artifact skin, which is a shame. And what I'm going to do with our ship designer is, as I did last time, let's make a brand new type of ship, simply called Scrap. 
and we're going to use that in order to essentially sell our initial Corvette. Remove the original, and there we go. Ship augmentations completed. Lovely. Loads of alloys back, which we can use to get some early minerals. So, I want one more alloy foundry, and you know what? I think we will go some research. Let's go a bit more balanced this time. Hmm. Research or uplink node? The uplink node would, would give us plus 2% on our menial drones, which is pretty darn awesome. And a lot more unity. You know what? Let's go with the uplink node instead. Then we'll build a research. Then we'll go back to more alloys. Looking at our traditions, I'm not 100% sure which we're really going to go with. Expansion is a very obvious choice, but at the same time, going with supremacy would mean we're a little bit safer against the first empires we find. That plus 10% fire rate is lovely, and we really do need to focus on a fleet this time. Ignoring the fact I've just made our uh, fleet pretty much useless, at least for the time being. They can't even travel outside of the system. Okay, that is fantastic. So our precursor is the Cybrex. As a machine empire, that is phenomenally powerful. Situation really, really happy with that. And let's grab Map the Stars as well, because why not? Oh, yeah, I really should be trying to get some cyborg leaders. And because they're lithoids, their lifespan's going to be incredible. Cyborg gives how many years? And lithoid gives how many? Uh, not that. Can we go to species? Thank you. Plus 50, plus 40. Okay, these lithoids are near immortal, so I should try to replace our leaders with lithoids quite soon. They are cyborgs, which means they get cyborg bonuses. Okay, you're going that way, so you can go over here. I'm really hoping we have a little bit of space, but since we are spawning in clusters, probably not. We are going to go with expansion. Hello! Okay, we have started off next to a world, and although it is Tundra, which is a little bit worse for us, that doesn't really matter too much since we are machines. Make sure to spread there as soon as we can. Okay, we are now sending our colony ship over to this world. We are sending the lithoids rather than the machines, since the lithoids are slower at being created. Really should ignore some of these anomalies. Yeah, especially the higher level ones. You know what, for now, let's just ignore that and continue surveying. Okay, we've already found our first other empire over here. So what are you? Other than being perfectly synchronized with us, you are apparently plants. Well. Interesting. Wait, you're plant robots? You're robots! You'll like us! Oh my god, we have friends. Okay. The, we have the Cybrex as our precursor, and we found machines. That is so unbelievably good as assimilators. What I'm really hoping is that they guarantee our independence soon, because they'll look upon us with pity. By doing that, they will defend us, and thus anyone who wants to attack us will have to also attack them, so there's a good chance that will thwart at least one weaker empire from attacking us. Oh, that's amazing. Also, I just thought, the Lath Exterminators, the machine... Ah, I just realised I've actually forcefully spawned in another machine empire within the galaxy, which is an exterminator species, and I kind of forgot they won't hate us because we're machines. But I also spawned in a devouring swarm, and there is 30 empires, so that probably doesn't matter too much, but something I've just thought of. Whoops a daisy. We'll see how much of a difference that makes later on. But either way, that is beautiful. How are you already beating us for te Oh, of course, advanced starts. You already had a secondary world, most likely. Did you have that already? Yeah, 19 population. You already had that. Well, I like you. I like you a lot. And hopefully you'll start liking me soon once the new contact thing wears off. 
Okay, their border friction is actually kind of terrible. So what we're going to do is transfer some alloys over. Let's see if we can get them friendly a little bit faster. I really want them to like us. As soon as possible. Maybe we should have waited a bit longer. Really still wearing? I guess that's because of new contacts. Hopefully, that's going to wear off soon enough. Our Corvettes are already back online, now making some more. So hopefully we can get a fleet up and running soon. A proper one this time. Okay, we've already found another Empire. That does not bode particularly well for us. We may need to be aggressive because we do want to expand. Although we're not going to play a super wide playstyle, I still really need more worlds than this. Oh wow, we are completely... Oh no, spiritualists. And we are completely blocked in. Well, friends, enemies. Now, friends don't like us that much yet. Well, our good start just suddenly became an absolutely horrendous one. Please? How are you still wary? How are you still wary to us? Oh, thank you. So I just bribed them with more alloys and they're giving us minerals because they like us. That's lovely. Do you want to guarantee our independence? Maybe? Perhaps? Alert. Well, we'll accept that since you're already ahead of us on research. Construction complete. Please guarantee our independence soon. That would be great. Like, as soon as po- Please, as soon as possible. We can't defend ourselves. So, a little while later, we have at least got the defensive pact we wanted, but it seems like everyone is going to hate us. I'm trying to build corvettes as fast as possible. We are really good with our alloys, and honestly, we're doing okay for resources, at least basic resources. The problem is, I don't think I can bring my machine friends into a war if I attack. No, I can't. Don't know why, actually. Why not? Why won't you join us? But you will. Oh, is it because you've not met them? In which case, hello. Am I correct with this? Not transfer system. Um, communications. Here you go, for free. Because we like you. So now if we try to go to war with them. Construction complete. Now I can try. They won't. But I can try. Maybe for later. Technological I'm tempted to grab more research labs now rather than more alloys. Our alloys are already growing decently fast, but we just really need the tech. We need better stuff for our fleet. Like afterburners, for instance, but actually right now I would love more research. Right choice or wrong choice? Pretty wrong choice there, but still. Complete. Okay, let's send out one of our science ships over here, and then we can start grabbing these systems. It'll look a bit weird in terms of our borders, but right now we're just stuck, and we have nothing to spend our influence on. So I've changed my mind. We're going with more forges on the main world. And as soon as I have the unity, we're going to go with supremacy. Situation log adjusted. I want that extra fire rate as soon as possible. Okay, and you move over there just in case we can grab this system for a decent price. Still overwhelming to us. That advanced start is so brutal. Changing my mind yet again. We are turning one of these alloys into a research lab instead. We don't really have the resources to keep a half-decent sized fleet, so just getting some bonuses right now is so important. Okay, I've grabbed this system. This next system looks lovely, even giving us two alloys. Uh, we just need a lot more influence. 
We've got over 1k fleet power at least, and it seems to be keeping the peaceful traders at bay. They're hostile, but with our defensive pact, and with this empire being so powerful, it is holding them at bay for now, even though these two are becoming really good friends. So it's going to be the robots versus the spiritualists fairly soon. We can't let up. Changing another one of our foundries into research labs. I forgot the alloy foundries from a machine world gives you more alloys, I believe. I think normally it's only six for a regular empire, but it's eight here. It still costs more minerals, but more per job is still fantastic. Our minerals aren't doing fantastically though, so we're gonna need to start mining on this world as soon as we can. Can't really afford more ships right now anyway, we're at plus zero energy, so may as well use those alloys for minerals so that we can start grabbing all these systems and everything in them. Okay, so far everything's been pretty peaceful. Our tech is just about catching up with the peaceful traders, but... Complete. Whoa, the machine empire is just dominating. So glad you're our friends, but... Probably the only reason why I'm not being attacked straight away. The enemy are only superior to us now, right? That's interesting. If I turn these into bastions, we could potentially lure them into attacking us and then destroy them. Just the fact that they've got bastions here, here, and here, though, makes it a bit more difficult. Though we could attack them and simply dodge the bastions, because most likely they don't have FTL traps yet. I am tempted. I am really tempted. Be stupidly risky, though. Okay, our economy is more balanced now. Once again, our research is not great, but not terrible. But here's the problem. We are, once again, trapped. This is a group of militant isolationists. If we grab any of these systems here, they will go to war with us. So we need to jump again, which is going to cost loads of influence again. And thus, again, we're trapped. Okay, so the enemy have gone to war with us, apparently. Whoa, look at those worlds there. Wow. Okay, so we're kind of finding out other empires because we're at war, and I guess we're sharing comms with our allies. Um, okay, you two, get your butts over there, I guess. Just slightly further back, there we are. A foreign entity has decrypted our Situation log adjusted. So here's the question. Do they have FTL traps? Yes, they do. Otherwise, we'd be able to move there. Okay. So that means we need to break through one of their bastions, which is going to be a nightmare. Construction complete. So from now on, all resources go to building up our fleet further. Alert. Hostile fleet assets detected. And that's why. Diplomatic alert. Military confrontation detected. Alert. Station engaged. Hello, allies! Thank you! Okay, um, you know what? You fellas, follow them. We're the supporters here. We're not the main force. Complete. Wow, they have a lot of forces. Oh no, that's not good. Please don't. Okay, we're going to follow you, but please say they're going the same direction. No, why not? Why are you not keeping all your forces together? Hostile stationary asset engaged. We're helping. Ooh, that's ours now. Okay, we are helping. Let's let's continue to help. For the machines! We will blunder into success! Acquisition successful. Alert. Hostile fleet assets detected. Yeah, you'll be fine. Good. Alert. Spaceport engaged. Did I mention we're helping? Because we are, kind of. Oh, we're getting them because we're trying to assimilate. That's why. 
Ooh, hello. You're colonizing that planet. We can grab that off you later. Once we get some ground forces. You know what? This is going to be really, really successful at this rate. Just hope the machines don't get attacked from over here. Going to go ahead and double back and take over all of these. Are we taking point right now? Yes, we are. So we are encouraging our allies to follow us. System survey complete. Will they? Who knows? Can I even invade? No, because it's being colonized. So I have to wait for it to fully get colonized, then invade it. Sure. But you should go here and grab all that research. In the future, I'll make sure to just reinforce our fleet so I don't have to keep on doing all this manually. Ooh, lovely, you're moving there. So, I guess what we should do is send in one of our fleets to help you. Actually, no, I'm going to watch. Let's see what happens when they attack this station. Will it automatically go to me because I'm the one who wants absorption? Or do I actually have to be involved in the fight? Which makes sense as well, really. It instantly goes to me. <laughs> that is horrendous. Okay, we are now attacking their homeworld. Bombardment is going slowly. We are making some more ground forces to get over here. They're about to take back that system. Do I care? Not in the slightest. If I can get this homeworld, I am going to be so very pleased. Because that pretty much kills them. Now, of course, that means we have to grab all these manually. But you know what? If this war's over faster than it is shorter, I'm fine with that as well. Faster than it is shorter. Yeah, that's how I wanted to say that. Sure. Assets detected. Okay, so fleet manager, this secondary fleet. Obviously, is max corvettes. Reinforce. That way I don't have to manually combine them all the time, which is just silly. They have quite a lot of ground forces here, so it's going to take a while. Alert. Hostile fleet assets detected. Glory to the machines. Having friends makes everything better. Okay, if they attack us directly, we should still be able to fight them off, so that's fine. And we are reinforcing, which is great. As soon as you have the alloys, I really need to upgrade this so we can have more shipyards. In fact, you know what? Let's do that now. Remove one of the solar panels. Oh! We've just grabbed this world! Because of our allies! Okay, lovely! And that means we are already assimilating them. Oh, we're also assimilating the pre-sapiens. Okay, so we're going to have five of them then. Well. <laughs> things are going so well this time. Oh, I'm so happy with this. I was so scared when they first popped up here. But now it's like, it's a blessing in disguise. I've only just realized something. We're not at war with the people I thought we were. So the reason why I thought they were at war with us with these fellows is because they have a defensive pact. So naturally I thought they would do things together. But no, it's these we're at war with. The Nara Kingdom. That's interesting. And explains why we're not being attacked over here. So I'm happy enough with that. Ooh, although they actually, I said that and instantly noticed a few systems have been claimed. Well, at least one of them has, I thought, too. Nope, just one. Ooh, hello. If their ground forces get here, we should have weakened up the world enough now that we should grab a brand new world with a lot of cyborgs. Fanatical purifiers? Well, that's terrifying. They are located over here. Okay then.
technological acquisition successful. And that's it. They're gone. Our biggest threat is now gone. And we're now ass assimilating. Construction complete. 54! 54. Oh, that's going to be horrendous. Okay, so... I could disable all these buildings. I'm going to do that instantly so we're not paying the upkeep. I'm not going to destroy the districts because we're really going to need that. Drone storage. I'm just going to remove that. No, no, no. For now, just disable again. And now we wait until they are all fully assimilated. That is such a weird start for us. This is a weird playthrough, I have to say. Now the question is, should we continue this war or should we just go status quo? I really think the status quo might be the better option for now. We can always bring in the replicators later on to help us. And at this point, I think we can start to stand on our own two feet. We have worlds. Our tech is doing okay. Our alloy production is about to increase, actually. This world's going to make sure of that as well. I think for now, we just need to recover from this war, sure. Status quo, for now. So, uh, science vessels, can you please get over here? Because I know there's a world there, and let's start to expand into this territory. Well then! That was certainly a start, and I'm already getting very tired right now, because that was just mental. So with that, I think I'm going to call the episode, Attempt 2, Episode 1. What just happened? So with that, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, then of course, likes, favourite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Stellaris is a series you wish to see continued in the future. In the next episode, we shall claim all this space for our glorious empire, and hopefully, we're going to look like we're in decent shape for the mid and end game crisis. Remember, they are set to as early as possible, so even if we do well here, that doesn't necessarily mean we're doing well in the grand scheme of things. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye. This is just weird.